Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the types of the reinforcement. So, I'm going to explain this topic with the help of an examples here in order to make it easy to understand. So, there are basically two types of the reinforcement used. One, we call it the longitudinal reinforcement. Longitudinal reinforcement and the second type of the reinforcement is the transverse reinforcement. This reinforcement also has different names in terms the technical names when they are used in beams or columns but their main technical names are longitudinal reinforcement and the transverse reinforcement. So, how we can define and explain these two important types of the reinforcement and what are their purposes when they are used in any kind of structure members. So, there are also other types of the reinforcement, for example, the torsional reinforcement and so on, but these are not important in today's lecture because I am only focusing on the two important types which are the longitudinal and the transverse reinforcement is they are most commonly used in the beams or in columns on footing or in slabs. So we start with the longitudinal reinforcement. Keep in mind the longitudinal reinforcement also known as the main reinforcement. Main reinforcement and if I show it in case of the bending member or in the axial member. So if I take an example of beam here. So if this is in a beam. So the beam is always loaded here vertically. So in case of the beam this kind of the reinforcement is provided horizontally along the axis of the beam. like in this way and if I draw the cross section of this beam so the cross section and this this reinforcement will be provided like in this way for example four bars are here so these are the four bars so these are known as the longitudinal reinforcement these four bars are known as the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement. Now, why they are called as the longitudinal reinforcement? Because they are provided along, with, along the longitudinal axis of the member. In this case, the axis, the longitudinal axis of the beam is like this direction. So, the reinforcement bars are also provided in this direction. So, that's why we call such type of reinforcement is the longitudinal reinforce, reinforcement because they are provided along the longitudinal direction. So this is the longitudinal direction of the beam. Now, if I define the second kind of the reinforcement in the beam, then they are, is, they are known as the transverse reinforcement and they are provided here like in this way if I draw it correctly they are provided like in this way along the whole length of the beam so in cross section we can see like in this way this green color and these reinforcement are known as the this green reinforcement are known as the transverse reinforcement. Now why they are called as transverse reinforcement? The transverse means perpendicular. So these reinforcement are provided perpendicular direction to that of the longitudinal reinforcement. That's why they are known as the transverse reinforcement. And these reinforcement also known as the shear reinforcement. Now keep in mind that the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement 
are provided to take the to take the bending stresses or the axial stresses and beam they take the bending stresses in case of the beam they take the bending stresses while in case of the column they take the axial stresses while the transverse reinforcement or the shear reinforcement they are primarily used to take the shear forces in a column or beam so the transverse reinforcement are provided to take the shear forces and the main or the longitudinal reinforcement are provided to take the bending tension stresses or the axial stresses and one important thing is to consider here that the transverse reinforcement has two names sometimes we call them stirrups when they are used in the beams when these reinforcement are used on the beam in the beams we call it stirrups now when the transverse reinforcement is used in the columns then they are known as the ties or spiral reinforcement these are when they are used in the columns so their technical names is spiral or ties reinforcement now here is a good example of column for example we see here a column now i want to draw the main the longitudinal or the main reinforcement and also the transverse reinforcement so the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement is provided to take the axial stresses in the column and bending stresses in the beam so here we have column so they are provided along the axis along the longitudinal axis of the for example they are provided like in this way along the because this is known as the longitudinal axis of the column this is known as the longitudinal longitudinal axis of the column So they are provided along the longitudinal axis of the column and if I draw the cross section of this column so this reinforcement will look like for example they will be provided something like this so they are the main reinforcement now if I draw the stirrups or we call it transverse reinforcement in the column we call it spiral or ties so they are provided like in this way here like in this way if I draw in cross section they will be like rectangular in cross section or square depending on the cross section of the column so this green are known as the shear reinforcement and they are used to take the they are known as the shear reinforcement and they are used to take the shear forces and also to engage or uh, to increase the shear resistance of the column and also to increase the lateral stability of the reinforcement of the main reinforcement so these are two main type of the reinforcement with different purposes the longitudinal and main reinforcement are used for bending and axial stresses or confinement of the reinforcement while the transverse reinforcement or the shear reinforcement is used to take the shear resistance or to increase the shear resistance of the column or beam so this is the main uh, difference between these two type of the reinforcement hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video